Hello, this is Steve. This video is titled, What is Brown's Gas? I'm putting together a whole video series on this question. There will be a lot of people that aren't interested in this topic. I know a lot of people will be interested in this topic. There's been a bit of a debate what Brown's Gas really is. If you go online and go onto Wikipedia, Brown's Gas is simply two parts hydrogen gas and one part oxygen gas, or 67% hydrogen and 33% oxygen. That's what Brown's gas is. That's what the scientific community defines it as. But there's a bit of a debate over what Brown's gas is. And I wanted to set up a whole new website and a series of videos doing experiments that help us to understand what Brown's gas is. So this is the first video in that series. And you'll want to visit brownsgas.com. That's browns with a hyphen gas.com where I'll have the rest of our videos and also explanations on each video and why we're doing each one of these videos. There's a bunch of pseudoscience that's basically proliferating all the Hydrogen for Health community. And there's a lot of people out there that are getting confused on what Brown's gas is and what they're looking at. I think the confusion is over electrically expanded water or EXW. There is a theory out there that when you take water and you put electricity to it and you break it down into hydrogen and oxygen, that there's a third mystery gas that is produced called electrically expanded water. But it only can be produced in an alkaline type electrolyzer. Alkaline electrolyzers are the type of electrolyzers that use distilled water and lye. Lye is a chemical that you put into the water to make the water conductive so that electricity can decompose the water into hydrogen and oxygen. So electrically water is claimed to be produced in between the positive and negative plate. As you can see here, our negative plate is on the right and our positive plate is on the left. And in between these two plates is where electrically expanded water is formed. The inventor of electrically expanded water or the term electrically expanded water, we're just going to call it EXW from here on out, theorizes that electrically expanded water cannot be produced if a membrane is placed in between the positive and negative plate. And a membrane is something that is used to separate the hydrogen and oxygen gases, kind of like this. Now you see I put a separator in between our positive and negative plate, which separates the hydrogen on one side and the oxygen on the other side. This type of electrolyzer is called a PEM electrolyzer. And the inventor's theory is that once you put a membrane in between the positive and negative, that EXW cannot be produced or created. Therefore, you can only get Brown's gas with EXW in an alkaline type electrolyzer. In this video series, I'm not gonna try and prove or disprove that EXW exists. The only thing I'm going to prove is that Brown's gas made from an alkaline electrolyzer is the exact same gas that is made from a PEM electrolyzer. And I'm gonna do a series of experiments to show that in fact, that is correct. And we're going to do experiments that the inventor of EXW has actually shown to prove the theory that EXW actually exists. We'll use the inventor's own experiments to show that Brown's gas from an alkaline and a PEM electrolyzer are identical. So I hope you stay with me on this next series of videos. Uh, also on the website, we're going to have explanations and we're also going to get into maybe a little bit of debate there. So I'll see you over at brownsgas.com. That's www.browns-gas.com. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.